Hello, how are you doing? So today I thought I'd do a little vlog because you know, why not? I just got back from the podiatrist, very exciting. Gotta get an update to my orthotics, woo! It's the good stuff, people. But hey, if I wanna do the PCT, really gotta get uh, my feet and my joints in order, so that's important. And now I'm about to do some errands. I really want to do my own um, screen printing because I want to make t-shirts with my logo. I have this one that I got made um, for me. It was just like a one-off that I ordered online and got it made. Um, but I've been really wanting to make more so I can sell them. Now, since I think not that many people are gonna order them and I don't wanna have to order like a huge amount, I'm gonna screen print them myself. Plus it just kinda sounds fun. And this way I can kind of just um, put the logo on anything I want. <laughs> so that's gonna be really fun. When I was in high school, I interned at a screen printing company. So I'm actually pretty familiar with the process. Um, I've just never tried to do it myself with non like professional supplies. Let's go do that. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna walk there. I walk into the store listening to some podcasts. Do you guys have any good podcast recommendations? Let me know because I'd love to hear them. I always want to hear more. This is a beautiful mural, isn't it? There are so many good murals around Christchurch. If you come, I recommend going on a little hunt and looking for them all. Christchurch. There's a lot of new stuff. There's still a lot of lots that are just kind of gravel. And there's buildings that still need to be rebuilt from the earthquake. Um, yeah, but it's coming together. Interesting mix of all different kinds of stuff. I got the fabric for the screens, um, but that's all because I've gone to three stores now and none of them have the right um, supplies to make the screens, so might have to order that online, I guess. <laughs> we'll see, more errands to do. I got my designs printed and now I'm at my final store for the day, hopefully. <laughs> Trying to get uh, some final things, like a staple gun. This is the cheap one. Do I spend $10 on a cheap one that might break? Or $25 on a nicer one? I feel like I'm gonna go for the cheap one. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, that will help make the screen. I made it back home after all the errands. I got really tired walking around. <laughs> I ended up getting a few things for the screen printing. I went to a little print shop and I got my design on transparency. <laughs> I have two sizes because I'm gonna do like a little small one too. And oh yeah, then I this is this is not related, but I got myself a dollar jar reusable cup thing. Only a dollar. And then of course I got the mesh fabricy stuff that I will use for the screen. I'm gonna do the whole screen printing process in another video. So look out for that if you're interested, but I guess I'll have to wait till I get all the stuff. So that's what's been going on over here. Also yesterday I met up with a guy from Christchurch who also makes YouTube videos and he contacted me. He had this idea for a video so I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> Here's that. Good morning! How's it going guys? I'm about to go on a run. I challenged myself to run every day for the month of November so I'm on day five. Doing good so far. <laughs> I don't have that much time this morning, so I'm just doing a short run, but I think any run is better than no run. I showered, I changed, and now I'm going to go film a video. We are going to the Travis Wetlands, so that's where I'm off to now. <laughs> I'm at the Travis Wetlands, made it, and met up with Jamie. We're looking for Pukekos. We are about to film a video for his channel, 10 wildlife that you may encounter if you come to New Zealand. So if you're interested in wildlife, check out that video. Um, but we're just going on a little walk. It's a beautiful day here. Um, I've never been here before, so it's pretty cool. And what were you telling me about Christchurch? When I was a kid growing up, they told me as a child that Christchurch was built on a swamp. 
Now, if you've never been to a swamp or you don't really know what it looks like, you, you think to yourself, well, what does that mean, a swamp? You know, Christchurch is it's a developed city. Well, it looks like a developed city. What they mean is this. This place is a swamp. It's really a marshland, though. I was just going to show you something that, that people talk about, but nobody ever really, you never really get to see. Yeah. We have this expression in New Zealand called the number eight wire mentality. Uh, Mari, have you heard this before? I have. <laughs> so here is a clipboard with notes. There's a little behind the scenes on making YouTube videos. So That's way more organized than I am, <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> so you use your piece of number eight wire or whatever oh. wire you have. And um, now you can look at your camera and you've got your notes right there. Oh, that's so <laughs> um, But, okay, I mean, because this comes back to, uh, you know, like 150, 200 years in the past when we didn't have big box marts in New Zealand. We're a little wee isolated island nation. And if you need to fix something, you got to do it yourself. You can't just go to the box mart and buy another one. So wire is something that is fantastic, just like duct tape, for holding things together. Hence the expression, the Kiwi number eight wire mentality. Good tip guys, good tip. <laughs> also, I'm very impressed with this clipboard of notes because I, I could learn something from that. <laughs> Instead of just me rambling a lot and then I edit <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> walking around. <laughs> Let's get a fun fact from Jamie. From a local's perspective, what's one thing around Christchurch that you recommend people to do? Probably the gondola. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the terrifying gondola. <laughs> Uh, I mean, because uh, you walk up the gondola, it just gives you that bigger geographical perspective of where you really are. You know, the, the uh, Banks Peninsula used to be a volcano a long, long time ago. So it just gives you that broader sense of where this place is, I suppose. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, Check it out. <laughs> if you're not afraid of heights. Hey, buddies. So this is just a little um, kind of a preview of what we've been filming for Jamie's video. This is going to be a bonus animal that you may see in New Zealand and it is known as a pukeko. They're right here. <laughs> the English name is the Australasian Swamp Hen. Um, so what they look like, as you can see, they have kind of like a purple body with black wings, um, orange beak. Fun fact, the pukeko looks very similar to a takahe, which is also a native New Zealand bird. However, the takahe is very endangered, whereas the pukeko, there are plenty of them. <laughs> so that's a wrap on Jamie's video. We got all the shots, got a lot of birds. The video is linked below, so go check it out. And if you come to New Zealand, look out for all the animals. Yeah, sweet. And go check out Jamie's channel in general. Subscribe, do all the stuff, you know. <laughs> well, that was fun, something different, and cool to meet another YouTuber always, and uh, cool to see the Travis Wetlands. Oh, and as a reminder, come to the meetup in Christchurch on November 20th. If you're around, I'll put the link in the description. Today is actually another day, it's Wednesday. November 7th here, but in the US it's November 6th, which if you're from the US, you know it's voting day. So I'm just um, going to end this now so I can go uh, watch some CNN and see what's happening. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well and I will see you next time for another video. Subscribe for more, bye.